What's up guys, it's Asano. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use motion tracking in the Fomora X. Let's go. Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm an official Fomora partner, which is awesome. If you guys don't know what Fomora is, it's an amazing editor I've been using for the past three years. I use it to edit all of my videos, and it's just amazing. You can do basically whatever you want, and with these new features in Fomora X, you can do even more. And being a Fomora partner is just crazy. It's crazy that three years ago when I got their editor, I was just a normal person. And then now, three years later, I'm actually working with them. I'm going to be doing more for more videos in the future. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys are new and want to try out for more for yourself, you guys can try it out free in the description down below. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you need is your base footage. So I just have a little um, part of one of my Among Us videos as um, you want something to track. So I'm going to be tracking my little character as he walks uh, throughout the map. So first thing you want to do is uh, you can either double click on your clip or go to the motion tracking um, feature up here. You want to click it and you want to get your character um, on the uh, arrow right here. So you want to shape it up and make sure it's on it good. Get as small as it can around uh, your character here so it can track it. There you go. Then you want to click start tracking and wait for it to uh, track your character. There you go. Um, as you can see, it fully tracks the character. Next, you want to do um, is get text or an image or whatever you want to do. I'm going to show text for now. Get your text and put it over the length of the clip. And I'm just going to put what's for now, blue boy. Because why not? Um, here. And you want to put it. I'll put it right above the character in the middle. And there you go. And Next, you want to go to your base clip, double click, um, and then go to motion tracking. And then over here, you want to click none and then go to your text or your picture or whatever. So mine is default title. So I'm going to go to click default title and it tracks it. I'm going to probably move it, the text a little bit more down. And there you go. Okay, for the last one, we're going to track a skin in Fortnite replay mode. Um, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, this time I'm going to be using an image, but it's basically the same process. So this is my Fortnite replay shot. As you see, um, the character is walking uh, through the field. So first, you want to always uh, start off by going to the motion tracking uh, icon, clicking on it, and lining up your character slash skin. There you go. Click start tracking. There you go. Once it's tracked, then you could add your image. Make sure to put it over the full length of the clip. I'm going to be using a poop emoji because this character is poop. So we're gonna we're gonna put it right over its head like that. Next, you want to go back to the clip. Double. You can either double click on it or go to the um, motion tracking icon. Click on it. Click on none. Go down to uh, your image here. Click on it. Click OK, and if I press play, you can see the image is perfectly tracked above the character's head. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching this video. Peace out. Oh.